You know our next guest as Marty from the hit show, The Neighborhood. Please welcome Marcel Spears. Marcel! Hey, Marcel! Hi, Marcel. Hey. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Well, you're from New Orleans, and it seems like everyone who's from that area just has like a certain swag to them. Would you agree? I would agree. I would agree. And maybe it's maybe it's a little bit prideful, but I feel like everybody in New Orleans <laughs> has like it's, it's what it is. You know what it is? It's that rue. It's the rue. Everybody like in New it. Orleans has like that little, it's the that little yeah. extra. I like it. That yeah. little extra je ne sais quoi. That little extra little dash of like Creole seasoning. Mm -hmm. um, and so we we carry that with us. Um, in everything that we do. I feel like for me, like you see it, one, you see it whenever I'm home, but like when I'm talking about food or or music or uh, like little, like it'll pop out. You, you, you'll be like, all right, that brother from New Orleans. Like there's something <laughs> different about this person. I love it. So good. That is so great. Um, well, we heard you did something really cool in London recently. What did you do, Marcel? Uh, I, well, I, I got ordained. I've, I've been ordained oh. now for, I want to say, three or four years. Okay. I got ordained for the express purpose of, of marrying friends, which I've done twice now. Uh, so one of, one of my really good friends was getting married in London, and so I officiated their wedding. That's um, super cool. Which was, it was interesting. It was interesting. Why I don't know why people keep asking me to do this. <laughs> well, I think, you know what it is? I think because my dad is a... a a pastor, like people assume, ah. like oh, okay, yeah, Marcel has that, like that air of, uh -oh. like, you know, I'm, I, I'm not, because God is still working on me. God is, <laughs> God is yet working. I am a, I am a heathen. So <laughs> I, I hope I did a good job. I think they enjoyed it. Oh, I'm sure they did. And you know what? You and I went to the same college. Shout out to Prairie View and M University. We you did. Graduated. Shout out to PV. Yes, we love PV. And you got your MFA from Columbia. You are just smart and you're old Dane. And then one of your first jobs was teaching <laughs> Shakespeare to teenagers. Now, what was that like? It was, it, it was exactly how it sounds. It was like <laughs> interesting. <laughs> It was it was interesting. It was exciting. I was teaching Shakespeare through uh, through a theater uh, company in New York, CSC, mm -hmm. um, and so we went out to different schools all throughout the five boroughs and taught Shakespeare. And I feel like um, for me, I connected to the kids because it's hard to teach kids anything. Like it's really hard to get them pay attention to anything at that age yes. because they kind of like they think they're grown. They're, they're more aloof. Yeah. Um, and kids in New York are not normal kids. They're not regular kids. They're like, they're, they're something, they just You're different. They, 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 they just different, you know, like they, they just, they, they different. These are like <laughs> more adult, these are the most adult children I've ever seen in the world. Um, but I feel like I connected to them because I didn't always see myself in Shakespeare. Like mm. when I look at it and when I see it performed often, I don't often see me. Um, yeah. But when I was in school at PV, which is HBCU, when I was in school in Columbia, like I was able to mm -hmm. sort of find my own in. I had like really, really, really excellent teachers. Um, shout out to, to Crystal Truscott and Kristen Linklater, who just helped me find my way in it and, and realize that it's more about human relationships. That's really what it is. Mm. Yeah. You're telling a story well about said. human emotion and human relationships. And once you tap into that, like there's a place for everybody. In I it. love that. Definitely. I love that. Well, you've definitely come a long way because now you're starring on The Neighborhood with Cedric the Entertainer and Tashina hey. Arnold. Okay, have you ever heard the saying, like, never meet your idols? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, in this I've, case, I've heard that. it seems like it's worked out for you. It is absolutely working out. It's 100%. Honestly, it's the, it's the best... It's the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. It's that's so, so It's awesome. so weird to say because you go from watching... You go from watching Pam... And Cedric the Entertainer, like you see these people, like a literal king of comedy and a TV icon. Like these are legends in their own right. Mm -hmm. And you watch them every day from the time that you can watch TV. Even sometimes when your parents say you can't watch this show, <laughs> like you sneak in and watch Martin. And oh. now I get to work with these people. I get to learn with these people. And they are exactly who I wanted and needed them to be. Like they're oh. exactly oh. as, like said, everybody's like, oh, Ced's everybody's uncle. He is exactly that, like that man is uh, is a blessing, really. Yes, he is. We love Ced, for sure. Word on the street is that you got to meet your celebrity crush through Cedric. Who is it? Uh -oh. And I want to know what happened. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, so, so uh, like I said, Cedric and Tashina are, like, they're, they're, they're caretakers. They put you under their wing. They're mentors. Mm -hmm. uh, one of Cedric's act 
acts of, of mentorship was sort of uh, teaching me and my co-star, Sheehan McKinney, um, just like the lay of the land in the business. So he was sort of connecting the dots between black people in entertainment and television and like um, investing in Silicon Valley and different things like that. They were connecting oh, awesome. like all of these like really, really beautiful, brilliant black people. That's great. So you walk into this room and there's like, all of these like really dope black celebrities. So everywhere I look, I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um, one of those people happened to be one uh, Miss Nia Long who Ooh. walked in. Y'all, Nia Long been fine since I could conceptualize <laughs> what fine was, okay? Since I understood what fine Back. was, Nia Long been fine, okay. like fine, okay. fine. Okay. And it's one of those things to where, <laughs> it's one of those things to where like, you, like your face gets high, you don't even know like kind of what to do and everybody is acting normal and I don't know how, what I'm supposed to do in that moment. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Said comes in, like, she's, like, greeting everybody. Chris Spencer's there, because Cedric and Chris were, like, hosting. They're greeting everybody, and everybody's talking about, like, how to, like, recirculate the black dollar and all this stuff. And I have no... I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I love um, it. Cedric introduces us... Cedric introduces us to, to me along, and she's so, like, warm and nice, and, like, she's giving everybody hugs. And she's, like, pressing her human body against my human body. And I'm just like, what? I don't know... Like, I don't deserve any of this. Like, I don't, like, she's talking directly to me, and I, I don't, it was like an outer body experience. I don't oh, know what wow. happened. I don't know. I don't wow. know. Wow. Well, you know what? Let's take a look at you and Cedric, but not Nia Long, in a clip of you <laughs> in the neighborhood. Now you want to hit this bag with small circles, champ. Hey, man, why do you only call me champ when I'm not good at something? <laughs> All right, well, my bad, tough guy. Yeah, let's stick with champ. <laughs> Whoa, 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 man, why is your heart rate going up? You having a heart Oh. <laughs> I see why. <laughs> hey, man, is that the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, or am I just dehydrated? Well, you are definitely thirsty. <laughs> that is really great. Oh, wow. Marcel, you're so much fun. Thanks for hanging out with us today. The Neighborhood airs Mondays at 8 p.m. on CBS and is available to stream um, live on demand on Paramount+. Plus.